Good morning, my faithful loyal YouTube subscribers. Today is Thursday. It's May 20th. The year is 2021. I'm sitting here watching the news. And here in Atlanta, we have a problem. that has. I'm sure most cities are probably having this, a similar problem. But we have had, in the past few months, since the beginning of this year, we've had 26 shootings on the highway. Let me make sure about that. Let me pull up this report. I just just had it. Uh, so far in 2021, there have been at least 26 cases of a driver shooting at another one on Metro Atlanta's roads. Seven people have been killed in the midst of that rolling carnage. At least a dozen have been in, been wounded. So seven people have been killed, uh, at least in the Atlanta metropolitan area, and uh, 26 people, 26 incidences of people shooting at somebody. Um, where is all this, what, what, what would cause somebody, you're driving down the highway and someone decides to grab a gun and start shooting at you. I personally think we have a sniper in the Atlanta metropolitan area. I've lived here for 30 years and I've never seen such violence um, on the highways shooting towards other people in other cars and for, for us to have this repeatedly done specifically late at night has led me to believe that someone is purposely out there shooting at people it's probably the same person uh, he seems to be getting away with it because they have not made any arrests at least any arrests that I know of um, I think the Atlanta police might also know, I think the Georgia um, state um, uh, Georgia Bureau of Investigations may also know that they have a a sniper or a, a, a person who's randomly shooting at people out there. I mean, the guy, I'm sure they've gotten bullets and they can do ballistics, but they haven't said anything yet, which I find very interesting that they haven't discussed it or brought it up or even said anything similar to that. I cannot be the only person who feels something strange is going on here. In fact, in the article, um, that's in the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, the, the reporter even said that um, people were asking him if there was something going on. I mean, they think there, that something was going on. Because it says, like he wrote in the article, there seems to be no rhyme or reason as to why this is happening. Uh, a few months ago, a couple of readers contacted him, the reporter, and asked him if a serial killer was roaming the roads, and I think there is. And we probably won't know this for a little while until after they get ballistics evidence and really take the time to investigate this. But I'm beginning to think that we have something going on in Atlanta. We might have a serial sniper out there on the streets, particularly at a certain time of night, um, hanging out. And I think the... Might, I didn't get that. Uh, I think we might have something... Um, going on here that the police may suspect something, but then they're just, they're just not seeing anything. Something's off. So I guess the question would be is, you're driving down Atlanta Metropolitan Roads, minding your business, going on about your business, coming from work, going to work, going to club, whatever. How could you avoid this type of drama? In one of the incidents, uh, one of the drivers said a car sped up Flashing his lights came flying upon them and, and sped it behind him, flashing the lights. Um, we've all had cars pull up behind us, flash your lights, asking us to get over. I, I immediately get over. If you're paying attention, you you know, sometimes you can, you can be startled because you're not, the person might be driving so fast, you don't, you don't know really what to do. It's so abrupt. My suggestion would be to get over and slow down. Immediately get over and slow down at that person speed by um avoid interactions with people on these highways and I, and I what i'm reading in this article was very clear to me that in many of these instances they were just driving down the road and they didn't even somebody just randomly started shooting at them they had nothing the person the car came up on them um out of nowhere i mean driving up and just started shooting 
Now, I, I did notice, though, that many of these incidents took place at a certain time, between 11 o'clock at night and 5 o'clock in the morning. I thought that was very interesting. Uh, 13 of the 26 cases occurred between 11 p.m. and 5.45 a.m. So we, 13, that's half of the 26 cases. That's about a little bit, about half. My math was right. That means that somebody's out there in the roads at between 11 o'clock and 5.45 in the morning. Might not be a good time to be on the highways in Atlanta. You might want to take the surface streets like I do. <laughs> Shit. I know the highway might seem fast at nighttime, but we got a serial sniper on the loose. We just going to call it what he is. He's a serial sniper. He's out here shooting folks. Although he hasn't been confirmed. I'm going to confirm it today, goddammit. Fuck that shit. Yeah, he out there. So we're going to stay off the highways at that time. Yeah, my old computer. I'll reset this thing. I need to figure out why my computer is doing this. But anyway, we're just going to say that there is a serial sniper out there. Roaming the streets of Atlanta. He's mainly out between 11 o'clock at night and 6 in the morning. He's working, he working on third shift. I, I have my suspicions that this might be somebody, you know, maybe an ex-police officer or a police officer. Uh, and why, I'm going to tell you why that in a minute. Just my theories on this. You know, there's a lot of, I, I believe the person is possibly white. Just my thoughts. Um, they tend to be targeting black people specifically. Um, I think this person is probably ex-law enforcement because their aim seems to be pretty good. Our ex-military, as someone who's been trained in weaponry, very well, because you're in a moving car and you hit this person's able, their aim is pretty good. So they're either ex-military, ex-police officer, somebody with some type of background with um, guns, um, and they, they have a lot of anger towards somebody, particularly towards black people. And we know black on black crime do exist. This is a little bit different. These are. These are shootings that are um, unwarranted. They're, they're not a beef. It's not a fight going on on the highway. These people just drive down the highway and bullets, did, and someone pulls up and starts shooting at them. So we do know the Atlanta sniper exists. Now we just have to avoid him until the police get up off their behinds and do their job and arrest him. Eventually, they will catch this person because this person thinks they're getting away with it. They're going to keep going back out there trying to harm and kill people. So, we know the sniper is out there. We know what time he prefers between 11 p.m. and 5 o'clock in the morning, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. He's out there at nighttime. He's on the highways. So, my suggestion to you all would possibly be to... What is this? My suggestion to you all would be possibly to avoid late night excursions on the highways, maybe stick to streets. Peach Street Road runs all the way up across the city of Atlanta. You can catch, you can ride that. Or if you're out and about at nighttime and you see cars coming towards you very quickly at a rapid rate of speed, get over and try to avoid other cars on the highway until they catch the line of sniper. The midnight Atlanta sniper, that's what we're gonna call them for the time being. So we're gonna get out here and find out, try to live. And, and, and I know that we cannot hide in our houses, homes, afraid, you know, well, I do. You know, I'm, I ain't going out after 11 o'clock and 6 o'clock in the morning. I ain't got no place to be at 11 o'clock at night any goddamn way. I'm gonna be my ass at home watching TV and have drinking a vodka and cranberry. But for those of you who have to go to work and try and venture out and go to work or you want to go out or you want to live your normal life. Unfortunately, I remember having a conversation with my friend who was shot and killed on the highway here in Atlanta or in a similar incident. And he was telling me he wanted to live his life, that he wasn't going to live in fear. He told me he just wasn't going to live in fear. He was going to live his life. And I understand that. Unfortunately, that young man is dead now. Um, we had many conversations about the pandemic 
uh, coronavirus and just being safe and, you know, staying in a safe environment. But he wanted to live his life. He said he was going to live his life. He was not going to allow the pandemic to get in his way. So I think a lot of y'all are probably going to say, I'm going to live my life. Fuck the Atlanta sniper, the Atlanta midnight sniper. Well, be careful. Avoid the highways. Avoid the, if you can, kind of avoid the highways. Especially the long stretches of highway where ain't nobody out there but you and Atlanta midnight sniper. You don't want to be on the highway with his ass. So just try to avoid the highways if you can and try to get to places you need to get to before he comes on shift at 11. So we know he working from 11 o'clock to about 6 in the morning. So I mean, this is just a theory. So but he seems when he's shooting to take place. So the Atlanta Midnight Sniper is out there. We know he exists. We know he's out there. Or we know it's someone out there shooting people or someone or a group of people. It could be multiple snipers. But it seems to be one person that's doing this based upon all the information I've read, the news reports, the articles. I've did a lot of research. And I said, you know, something's not right here. So we know the Atlanta Midnight Sniper is out there late working late at night. Avoid the highways at nighttime if you can. You also may want to consider um, driving on well-lit sections of the highway if you can. Also, Atlanta, we only got we only got so many highways in Atlanta. We got two eighty-five, I twenty, seventy-five, eighty-five downtown connector. These shootings tend to happen, you know. And I looked at something too. Some of them. Um, there was something else that was in this report about I-20 and these shootings. Some of them, six of the highway shootings occurred during rush hour. Just six of all of these occurred in the midnight rush. 13 of the 26 cases occurred between 11 p.m. and 5.45 a.m. So 13 of the 26 shootings. But there was something else about um, I-20. I think I twenty seems to be the most perilous corridor with ten shootings and two deaths. So on I twenty there have been ten shootings and two deaths. Um and it tells the story of a guy named Andre Blair was driving a dark stretch of I twenty. So I twenty is dark, particularly between if you're going westbound towards the um you're traveling west of I twenty uh west of down the downtown connector. Uh, Andre Blair was driving a dark stretch of I-20 a few miles west of downtown in early April when he heard something hit the door behind him. He said, then my legs started feeling funny. He said this week in an interview, I realized my car had just been shot up. Then my back started feeling funny. That's when I got worried. He pulled over and called 911 and he told me he was shot. So why did it happen? Blair says he doesn't have a clue. He didn't notice any tailgating, nor did he cut anyone off. He didn't even really notice who did it, other than a red car passing him. Perhaps the guy shot at him because Blair has a nice ride, a BMW X5, who knows? So this guy, this guy don't even know why they, they, they shot up his car. All he saw was a red car go past. He didn't even see the shooter. Well, very few of these cases are solved. Often it's dark. It happens fast. The cases are usually random. Witnesses often don't know what is happening, and the crime scene is fluid with hundreds of cars flying by. You get these cars flying by. That's why I say I'm, I think this person, I'm pretty positive this person has a background in using weapons and guns, training in this, maybe military style training. You're in a moving vehicle, your aim is so good, you're able to hold that steering wheel. And uh, now if he's driving, he could be in the passenger seat, and somebody else is uh, driving while they're shooting up these cars. Y'all better take this serious. The, the midnight, the Atlanta midnight sniper is out there. And we have to take this serious because we don't want to get in a situation like that. So avoid I-20. That's crazy because I live right here off I-20. That's okay. I I know how to avoid I-20 at nighttime. I don't have to take I-20. I can take your other routes around I-20. I can get rid of I-20. I know Atlanta very well. I don't have to take the highways at all. I can get from perimeter to Clayton County and not touch a highway. So... And I can do it pretty quick, too. So, anyway, the Atlanta sniper is out there, and we're going to be careful. Those of you that live in Atlanta, and I don't know if this happened, if this, if this is happening in other cities or not. It very well could be. Um, 
I don't know. I mean, we'd have to sit down and you know, if you, if if you live in a different city and you know of uh, you all are having similar problems, shootings on the highways, please let me know because I haven't I haven't had a chance to really research. Is this phenomenon happening in other cities? Is this just something going on in Atlanta? You know, who knows? But I, I would still suggest to people at nighttime, especially late at night, to be very careful and, be, and watch your surroundings and do not get into any type of incidents in these, on the highways with these crazy people out here. Uh, obviously, somebody's doing this. I find it hard to believe that these are multiple incidents. I don't think so. This is one person or one person or, or someone. They're all related to a certain degree. The police are just not saying anything yet. So the question is, do you believe we have an Atlanta sniper? I do. So I like to read the comments, hear y'all thoughts. And if you got any other information you want to add to it, let me know. Just be careful out there. You know, we live in some crazy times. Now, people are insane today. I mean, you got a lot of crazy people out there. And so you want to make sure that you get home safely. I want everybody to get home safely and arrive with us, you know, to a destination alive. Without having been shot up, and God forbid. The crazy part is I don't really, I don't live by I-20. I'm rarely on I-20 because 20 traffic is kind of like a, it drives too crazy for me on I-20. So I tend to take, if I'm going to some destinations, I tend to avoid I-20 for a lot of reasons, uh, traffic related. And I know why, because of these shootings too. But, um. I never I have to be very, very honest with you. It's very rare that I'm out at eleven o'clock at night. I mean, it's just it ain't happening. <laughs> uh, the gym, huh? I I have never left the gym at eleven o'clock at night. I can assure you of all of that. I was long gone when they locked the doors of that gym. I was I was in bed sleep. Now they lock they close the gym. Okay, well, I'm in bed sleep. As a matter of fact, last night I, I went to bed. I was tired like yesterday. I went to the gym and worked out. I had a long day yesterday, so I ended up going to come home. I ate dinner. I cooked some salmon, and I bought a salad, and I had that. And um, I ate that food. And I did a little bit of rice, some brown rice. I ate that, and I went my ass to bed. Lily ate that mess, cleaned up that kitchen. And I, I, I didn't even have the energy to clean up that kitchen. I was, but I went on and cleaned it up. I cleaned up that kitchen and went my ass to about 11 or something. I, I was in bed sleep. You know, I didn't even see the news go off. I think it was 11 o'clock or something. I was in bed sleep. So, the latter side, when we catch, catch, catch my ass out there at nighttime, I'm just not going to be out there. Y'all can do what you want to do. Y'all can rip around these streets in Atlanta. Y'all can stand up in these nightclubs. Y'all can run all down. I had friends that said they just like to go out and drive around at nighttime. Have fun. Do what you want to do. My black ass going to be here in the house. Uh, Cause I have a, another thing too. I have I get up at six seven o'clock in the morning. And I have a full day all day long. Occasionally, my, I might be able to catch a nap. And I catch one of the day. This Catholic glass and copper. I come over here. You know, go to take a nap. Yeah, I just just pillows for taking a nap. Yep. So anyway, be careful. Let's keep, keep serious about this. And uh, let's just be careful out here. And keep eye on our surroundings. And take the Atlanta Midnight Sniper serious, but we because something's not right. Twenty six shootings, thirteen of them late at night, between eleven and six o'clock in the morning. Something ain't right. Be careful, y'all. But all we want to know is this happening in Miami? Is this happening in New York? Is this happening in D.C. Chicago? Folks, you, my folks who are out there in these various cities, let me know what's happening in your city. Are these types of shootings taking place? Is it happening in Memphis? I know them niggas crazy in Memphis. Is it happening there? Well, is this an Atlanta phenomenon? What's going on here? Am I the only person that realizes that something's not right here? We have a sniper out here. Something, something's going on that's not right. Anyway, today it is Thursday. It's May 20th. The year is 2021. And I'm out of here. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Look forward to reading you all's comments. I'm out of here. Bye.